One of the ancient buildings that is in the spotlight for art and history lovers is the Colosseum. The Colosseum is located in Rome, Italy, this historical building holds many terrifying stories about curious spirits, this building, which is one of the wonders of the world, is the most famous ancient building and a tourist attraction, but do you know the history of the Colosseum in Rome, Italy, the Roman Colosseum is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world. But how much do you know about Rome's iconic Colosseum, it is one of the world's most recognizable landmarks, and Rome's greatest treasure, the famous Colosseum. An ancient building that is still very impressive in the world of skyscrapers. The Colosseum was the largest gladiatorial arena in Rome. The city once hosted some of the most exciting Roman games, with thousands of rich and poor citizens cheering together for bloodshed and victory, reason for construction, life in ancient Rome was anything but easy. People used to work from dawn to dusk, with no weekends on the calendar. Those in charge realized that without an outlet for their frustrations, society would soon revolt against the system. This was especially important during the time when Emperor Titus Flavius Vespasian came to power in 69 AD. After the previous emperor, Nero was assassinated, there was a year of civil unrest. Vespasian wanted to ensure that there would be no rebellion. So he commissioned the construction of the Flavian Amphitheater, now known as the Colosseum, in 72 AD, stating that it was a gift to the Roman people. When was the Colosseum built? During its construction, many city buildings were damaged due to many fires. This amphitheater was built where the great golden palace of Emperor Nero once stood in front of the fire. Its construction began in 72 AD and was completed until 79 AD, with many emperors in charge during its construction. It immediately became a favorite, with commoners and the rich alike flocking to its gates upon its opening. The name Flavian Amphitheater, later changed to the Colosseum, came from a huge statue of Nero nearby, called the Colossus of Nero. This statue was later torn down, but you can still see its base today, structure, and layout of the Colosseum. The Colosseum was created using a number of arches and stone walls, with hundreds of skilled masons and masons needed to complete the building. There are four different levels in the Colosseum, with each level covered by wood and sand floors. There were different sections for specific guests, including better seats for dignitaries and the emperor's box for Roman rulers. This stadium measuring up to 190 by 155 meters was the largest amphitheater in the Roman world when it was completed. Seating around 50,000 citizens at a time, Colosseum Games, the first Colosseum Games were held in 80 AD, lasting 100 days and 10 nights. Opening day includes an opening parade that introduces music, costumes, racers, animals, and fighters. Sacrifices are also included in the opening act, which honors their religious beliefs and brings good luck to the game. Chariot racing, it was auto racing in the olden days, but instead of a concrete circle with roaring cars, it was a bloodbath between horses, chariots, and almost no safety. Each contestant has one chariot, small enough to fit a standing rider and nothing else. The chariot is pulled by four horses, with usually four to six participants racing at once. Today, most consider gladiator fights to be the favorite games held at the Colosseum, but it was actually the chariot races, with reports that the city was completely deserted while the races were taking place inside the stadium. Execution, it may not be the best entertainment, in fact, it was one of the most common events at the Colosseum. Criminals, deserters, traitors, and Christians were all brought to the stadium to be executed, and each underwent a different type of resolution. It was forbidden to kill Roman citizens by any means other than beheading, so even if they committed a crime, this was their only punishment. However, those who became slaves were crucified or burned alive. Another very gruesome but popular punishment among the audience was the criminal being thrown to the animals. 
Animal hunting slash fighting, the Romans were fascinated by everything exotic, including creatures native to other countries. This mainly includes safari animals in Africa, as well as jungle creatures in Asia. A display of these amazing creatures is presented to the audience first. To showcase each creature's sharp claws or beautiful feathers. Then animal hunting begins, with weaker and more vulnerable animals being hunted in the ring. Since these animals were usually harmless, even emperors or rich officials took part in these hunts. After this massacre of innocent people, animal fights started. It involves dangerous tigers, lions and leopards, and is usually matched with a group of fighters or armed gladiators. Gladiator fight, undoubtedly the most famous event was held at the Colosseum, gladiators fight. The fighters are seen as fierce warriors who are celebrities and sex symbols. A popular gladiator received huge support, with action figures for children and public portraits of them on the streets. However, often these fighters are actually rescuers and are held in poor facilities until they win enough fights to be freed or are killed in combat. The gladiator fight is the final event held during the games and involves a series of fights. The first are lightly armed fighters, then heavily armed, and finally, gladiator-style combat begins. The events were so brutal that it was not uncommon for the bodies of the dead or wounded to be dragged aside to make way for the next fight. What happened to the Colosseum after the fall of Rome, as time went by, the popularity of gladiator games began to decline and the bloody battles ended in the early 5th century. The Roman Empire itself experienced difficult times and its economy and military prowess suffered greatly. The money that was once spent to entertain the citizens of Rome and keep the Colosseum in good condition was instead needed to maintain the empire. Nature also played a role in the Colosseum's decline. Fires, lightning, and earthquakes all contributed to the damage to the amphitheater, lavish decorations were looted from the Colosseum, including gold and bronze statues, inscriptions, and marble covering the walls and stairs. The absence of large piles of stones and rubble makes visitors ask, what happened to the outer walls of the Colosseum? The answer is simple, travertine is recycled. The damage the Colosseum suffered from earthquakes and the like led to the availability of stone and building materials used for centuries in other Roman construction. In contrast to its bloody past, the Colosseum has had many uses throughout history, chapel, cemetery, housing unit, and workshop area. It was even used as a castle around 1200 AD. Through all its transformations, and despite its slight disrepair, the Colosseum still stands today and gives visitors a glimpse into the life of ancient Rome, that's a brief history of how the Colosseum used to be.